guidelines on hypertension generally recommend measurement of blood pressure in both arms in the initial visit they also suggest that the arm with higher blood pressure recording should be used to record blood pressure in subsequent visits it is often mentioned that there is a small difference in the blood pressure between the arms and usually it is a right arm blood pressure which is higher but some authors have suggested that clinically meaningful interarm differences in blood pressure are not reproducible in the absence of obstructive arterial disease they attributed the differences in those without obstructive arterial disease to random error still their study also documented slightly higher blood pressure in the right arm 2 to 3 mm of mercury for systolic blood pressure and 1 mm of mercury for diastolic blood pressure prognostic significance of interarm blood pressure difference has been evaluated in studies one study evaluated 421 consecutive patients from medical and renal wards they were followed up for all cause mortality up to 7 years right arm systolic blood pressure was 5.1 mm of mercury higher but the difference came down to 2.2 mm of mercury after a week at the same time systolic blood pressure dropped 6.9 mm of mercury over one week and an extra 5.3 mm of mercury in those with chronic kidney disease the crude mortality rate in the study was 6.33 per 100 patient years every 10 mm mercury difference in systolic blood pressure between the arms was found to confer a higher mortality hazard of 24% after adjusting for average systolic blood pressure and chronic kidney disease overall about 30% of patients had interarm blood pressure difference more than 10 mm of mercury another study of 610 patients noted that 53% of patients had a systolic or diastolic interarm blood pressure difference of more than 10 mm of mercury and 19% had the difference above 20 mm of mercury others mentioned that large interarm blood pressure difference was assumed to help identify patients with aortic dissection but their study was a convenient sample of ambulatory patients who were seen at a university hospital emergency department a simple random sample of 1634 patients showed that 26.2% were at moderate risk of vascular events with interarm systolic blood pressure difference between 10 to 15 mm of mercury 17.3% were at high risk of vascular events with interarm systolic blood pressure difference of more than 15 mm of mercury in case of diastolic blood pressure 14.2% had interarm difference of 10 to 15 mm of mercury and 6.1% had it above 15 mm of mercury they found a statistically significant association between interarm systolic blood pressure difference and hypertension smoking and alcoholism in case of diastolic blood pressure the association was with overweight or obesity if significant interarm blood pressure difference is due to peripheral vascular disease they are at higher risk for cardiovascular or cerebrovascular events 13.6% of a group of 280 patients had interarm systolic blood pressure difference of 20 mm of mercury or more 23.2% had diastolic blood pressure difference of 10 mm of mercury or more 83 patients were followed up for 5.6 years patients with diastolic blood pressure difference of 10 mm of mercury or more had a mean event free survival of 3.3 years compared with 5 years for those with diastolic blood pressure difference less than 10 mm of mercury those with systolic blood pressure difference of 20 mm of mercury or more had a mean event free survival of 3.5 years compared with 4.9 years for those with systolic blood pressure difference less than 20 mm of mercury an association between interarm blood pressure difference 
and increased morbidity and mortality was found in that study. First set of journal references. Second set of journal references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.